So, we are venturing into slightly uncharted lands. Uh, it has been a Donkey Kong's age since I've played this game. Does it uh, slightly feature Nathan Drake? Slightly. <laughs> they should they should make a, a a game for that. What Nintendo D DLC slightly <laughs> uncharted? The the, the slightly uh, slightly uncharted. Well, there's a mod now. Instead of uh, modding in Sonic, they'll mod in uh, Nathan Drake. There you go. You know what, though? Slightly Uncharted already exists. We have a PSP version. <laughs> oh, yes. That, the, the Vita one? <laughs> I still haven't played that. I have it free on PlayStation Plus. Okay, one thing... Shit, I've... it's supposed to, be one, it's supposed to be one of the better games for Vita. Yeah. Vita, PSP, whatever. <laughs> one thing I've noticed with Donkey Kong Land is it actually has more animations than Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color. Which is interesting. Yeah, Donkey Kong actually has some idle animations here where on Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Color, both Donkey and Diddy are stationary. Like, they're like frozen when they're standing still for a couple seconds until it activates. Like, Diddy will scratch his head or Donkey, you know, will pound his chest. But when they're. But there will be several seconds between those preset animations where they're just frozen. For this, he's like... You know, I don't... Go ahead. He's like constantly moving here. This is what? true. How did he... Oh. Yeah, I know there's supposed to be monkey madness and everything, but it kind of feels like in retrospection because we're basically comparing the last three games to the Super Nintendo version. Kinda. Like what, like what they did better and what they didn't. Oh, I just got killed by a flying pig. Yes, yes you did. So apparently the world has ended because pigs now fly. This is another one of those games where it's been way too long to remember. Yep. I know. <laughs> this is going to be sort of weird. Because I, I finished this game once and for some reason never went back to it. How many did they make for the Game Boy? Was it two or three? Three. Oh. <laughs> I think I only played the first one. They made Donkey Kong Land, Donkey Kong Land 2, and Donkey Kong Land 3. Each came after their respective country versions. Makes sense. Kinda like they do with Mega Man. Okay. Except there's only five Game Boy Mega Mans, and the fifth one doesn't even have Wily. And there's six NES games. How do you have a Mega Man game without Wily? Uh, they actually pulled it off, and it's actually for that reason that I find it to be one of the better games. It's actually, uh... They base the Robot Masters off the planet instead. Oh, okay. It's actually a pretty unique game. And you don't have the Mega Buster, you have the Mega Arm. Oh. So you don't... So there's no, like, mastermind behind the whole thing? There's, oh, there's... there is. It's just not Wily. Oh. Well, who is it, then? It is Terra. Which, Mother yeah, Earth? translates to her, of course. This is weird, having a snow level this early in the game. The second level is, is a snow level. Instant Mario foot! Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so the flashing pad means you got the Kong letter, and an exclamation mark means you found all the bonus areas, I think. Okay, now That's we're back in the right. jungle. Curious. Okay, you still get to keep your Kong. I was I was wondering if you got to keep both Kongs if, between levels. So that is really weird. They <laughs> they spin up into the screen when you when one of them dies. No, pick up the barrel. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh. It's really kind of sad how the Game Boy does the music better than the Game Boy Advance version. Yeah, the Game Boy Advance ver- What? <laughs> wow. How did he not grab onto that? Magic? Oh, man. Or is that spectacular? Magic! Do they- does he not grab onto the vine if he doesn't grab onto the magic- the, the end of it? Do you have to grab the end of it? Does it not count if you hit the top? You know, strangely enough, I think that might actually be the case. Oh! Clouds! That's, that's pretty dumb. It is. Because, I mean, like you, I played this once and I never touched it again, and that might be why. I'm also noticing that the jumping is really weird. The, the, the physics and gravity are are really out of whack. Yeah, it's, it's interesting you say that, because it's actually like that with the, uh, with the Mega Man games as well. It, it feels, he feel Donkey Kong feels really weighted. Exactly. And that, it's, that, that's exactly what I would have to say about Mega Man, actually. Huh. That is interesting. Yeah, because I'm jumping here, and it, it's just, he doesn't have the same momentum as he does in the Super Nintendo, or even the Game Boy yeah. Color one, I think. Oh, I wonder, was that, a, like, a limitation of the hardware? Or, I'm trying to think, Entirely possible. what would cause that? I don't know. Oh, we have blockade. That's right, there was... There's rocks blocking the path. So I have to go up here. Um, oh crap, I have to plug my phone in. Downloading um, GTA Vice City on my phone, and that takes up a lot of battery. Uh, I can imagine so. Huh. How, how big's the game? Uh, several gigabytes. Oof. I would assume so for a game like yeah. GTA. Yeah, man. And now we're on a pirate ship. So that's one thing I will give this game, is the level design, the, the level... The, le the levels are just like all over the place. You have you, you have snow, you have pirate ships. I mean, the level design was very creative. Music also translates quite nicely. Oh, mini neckies, die! Actually, this almost this sounds like sort of an original arrangement of the pirate theme. It's not quite the same as Super Nintendo one. Wait, what? Oh, I, now I'm in a industrial district. What? Okay. Ah, no. Yeah, more mini neckies. I always thought that was a weird noise. When he grabs the coin? Yeah. Wait, was that the second checkpoint? Looks like it. Maybe. Weird. I totally forgot about that. Uh, we have multiple checkpoints. Which is strange, because you'd think the Game Boy levels would be shorter. You would think. 
Maybe there's not as many levels. That's a possibility too. I really don't remember too much about this game, so. Yeah, I I know there was I know there was a healthy handful of levels, but I'm not sure if it was quite as many as the Super Nintendo. <laughs> ah. Oh, there's a barrel. Another bonus area. Ah, ostrich. Oh, I remember there. there's one really weird thing in this one. Oh, the, oh I got a b bomb. Okay. The expre Express of the Ostrich in this game, the Naughties can actually pass underneath his legs as well. That didn't happen in the Super Nintendo one. Okay, so now I have a bomb. So then I go... Uh, yeah, there's branching paths. That, that's right. See, this, this game was surprisingly advanced for a Game Boy game. Yep. I have to deal with flying pigs. The levels aren't named though, so it's kind of hard to say which level you're on. I didn't name them. Ooh. Oh, that is a weird noise. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly sure what that's supposed to be. Kind of sounds like a zipper. Yeah, like a weird distorted zipper. Oh, interesting. This does not have the infinite jump, like the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. You have to time your jump like the... Oops. Like the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Though the, the bonus levels in this are much more simplistic than the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Color. Indeed. It, they're pretty much a... What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where was I supposed to go? There was like a tire... <laughs> there was a tire and a giant pit. And then it just oh, kind of... Mario tire. <laughs> I know, these, these tires are the worst. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm up climbing the trees. What? Man, it is so much harder to do my roll jump. With that extra... with that weird weight. What? How? What? Ow. It's almost like there's a bug. Yeah. Because it doesn't even give you like a death sound, it's just, you're dead. Well that that's how this, this game um, works, when, when you fall off the pit, there, there's no death, it's just, fall off the pit, oh, the restart. Yeah. There, there's, there is no fancy um, death animations and whatnot. Except if you have another Kong, then it has to spin into action. Okay, seriously. How? There is totally <laughs> land over there! <laughs> Denied. What? Good stuff. Rejected.
Man, I'm having a really hard time getting used to this. Wait, it's. It seems that way. It, it's like the complete opposite of Mario Foot. <laughs> it's like cement foot. <laughs> it's like. It, it just does not want to accelerate. Oh, fine. Ah. Ah. Feels like a ton of bricks. Okay, the trees work. That that's fine. We'll take that. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Apparently not. <laughs> the game kids you not. Oh boy, this <laughs> this could take longer than I thought. Pick up yeah. the barrel. Thank you. No, I want to... I'm starting to wonder how I ever finished this game. Lots and lots of patience. Uh, apparently. <laughs> then again, I think it was, like, the only game I had for my Game Boy. That would explain it. <laughs> so... Yeah. Like... It, it's funny, I keep making these comparisons, and it's funny because, you know, it goes with the whole Madness theme. But, uh... For a while, the only game I had... I didn't have Tetris. Like, a lot of people had Tetris as their first game for the Game Boy. I had, um, the first Mega Man. Man. I still have Tetris for my Game Boy. Oh. Indeed. I think, um... Is there any reason I kept the Game Boy? When I first got the Brick Game Boy, I had, like, um, uh, well, like, my parents got it for, like, a road trip, and we got Dr. Mario and Load Runner. And that was pretty much it. But then later I got a Game Boy Pocket. And then I got Donkey Kong Land. And that was like the only game I had. Another pirate with flying pigs. But yeah, then eventually I got a Game Boy Color. And then I got Donkey Kong Country. And um, a couple of... I don't remember what other games I got. All I remember is Donkey Kong. <laughs> I didn't need Diddy. See, there's really no way of telling if you have Diddy Kong or not. There's <coughs> no, like, on screen indicator. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I'll... Whoa, okay! We'll, we'll, we'll uh, take this. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, the snake's coming down the ropes. This is okay. This is getting crazy. This is getting it's like intense. Like Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah. Actually, a lot of this stuff is from Donkey Kong Country 2. It's definitely no. You know, I'm gonna keep making the comparisons until they stop being true. <laughs> um, <laughs> in Mega Man, they they copy. They take like four of the bosses from the counterpart on the NES and then take the other four from the next game in the series. Like, for example, two would have four enemies from two and then four enemies from three. Huh. That seems to be lazy. Well, this was one that when they were making Game Boy games and they were just, like, repurposing their NES games. Um, or... Or deporting um, Super Nintendo games. It, it was just their thing of having to be able to take a game on the go, pretty much. It's lazy yeah. in the sense where they did have like the same bosses, mm -hmm. but the levels were different. It's like, yeah, we, we're gonna code all these levels. Like, do we really have to code the a new boss? Like, no, we'll just take this other boss. It's okay. Well, in some ways, it's a it's an easy way to use what you got, right? I mean, yeah. they can easily scale the uh, sprites down. Yeah. You use your existing um, resources. Well, you shouldn't even call them sprites because 
the Game Boy really was a tile-based system. Which is amazing they were able to get this kind of um, exactly graphics and animation on, because... Yeah, we really wasn't at it this time. I don't know, because I think the Game Gear and a couple other ones were ahead of their time. They just didn't have the battery life ahead of their time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the Game I Gear... A lot of batteries with that. The, the Game Gear was an amazing piece of hardware. Yes. But the, <laughs> the, the battery... Well, the one hour of battery life with a full set. Yeah, I, I drove my parents crazy with that. I, I got into the I habit... I never caught on to the Game Gear. I could not play... You remember how you're talking about they handled that much differently, like they have more weight to them? Mm-hmm. It was a thick oh. unit. Yeah, it was. Playing Sonic on the Game Gear, just, I, I couldn't do it. It was awesome. I could not do it. I, I play, I had Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. Um, I think I might have had Sonic Chaos. I had Sonic Blast. Um, I had Lion King. Um... And I'm on my last life. Yeah, I think I had mostly the Sonic game. I don't remember buying much else from it. Everything else except for the Genesis, anyway. I had a Game Genie for my uh, game. I gear. really just couldn't do it. Like, Sonic Handle. Depending it's, it's on... It really, wasn't for any, everybody. Depending on the sure. game, he, were, he handled better in certain Sonic games. Sonic Blast, he handled like crap. Yeah, oh, you got to be. <sighs> I, I guess I got just too wrapped up in the Genesis's uh, blast processing. <laughs> uh, when it came to the Game Gear, I couldn't do it. Don't hate. Um, <laughs> wait. What? It didn't save after that level? What? Apparently not. Well. I think we're uh, starting to see why we only played this game once. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I never played this one. This. Uh... Yeah, I'm beginning to rethink, <laughs> rethink my view in, on on this game. Ah, uh, Turbo Express. That was the other one I was trying to think of. Turbo Express. Yeah, that was the Turbo Graphics. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. That the often forgotten Turbo Graphics. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Mostly because it just didn't have a very good game, killer game, as it were. Yeah, it it was one of those that had like no games. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. What about the Wii U? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, the hate. yeah. I had to do it. <laughs> I mean, the, at least the Wii you can play the Wii games. There, 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 there is Wii, that. There's a Wii, right? Uh, I'll give them. Hey, sports. <laughs> it's just an upgraded Wii. <laughs> I'll give them that. The pro, which for now, but they did remove GameCube compatibility out of the Wii, so we'll see how that lasts. But I don't know. I, Honestly, I, keep... I think I was gonna say I think compatibility is in the future is not gonna be an issue. I think you're gonna see less and less of it. Yeah. As long as they don't keep going the route Sony did, where it's like, oh, sorry, you can't have your previous purchases. You know, it's, yeah. It's, as long as they don't do that, I don't necessarily care. Well, Microsoft used to be like that, and they changed because of the Red Ring of Death. If there's anything good that came out of it, was the fact that they came up with a system to allow you to move the programs from your account from one box to another. Which yeah. is still something Nintendo refuses to do. Oh. That, that drives me insane. Mm hmm Like, oh yeah, I, and I think pe people have had issues with it where their where their console breaks or they get stolen or they have to buy a new mm -hmm. one and it's like 
and their kid, you know, wants to play all their games that they bought. It's like, nope, sorry, you gotta go rebuy them all. Because we're not smart enough to create a consistent account for all your purchases. Even though they're all tied to your Club Nintendo ID. That yeah. still has games that I bought on the GameCube. But it can't track all my purchases on my Wii and my DS. I, I, you know what? I think I have it figured out. Sony's the same way. The, What's that? They, they do it on purpose. Oh, so they you do. Can actually justify buying games for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's one of the reasons why I don't have any of their systems now. And it's also a reason why I don't buy games on the uh, Sony. Except for this. The thing is, like, I, I joke about it, but in all seriousness, right now, my 3DS has much more virtual games than it does physical games, because it really doesn't have too many I'm interested in. And then if I go back to the Wii, there's much more virtual console games than actual physical games. Because well, they're better. <laughs> well, and I was actually... At one point, seriously considering upgrading my trading in my 3DS to get an XL. But to do that, I would have to trade in my 3DS and then get the XL. All of my virtual console games that I got as part of that whole loyalty ambassador program, mm -hmm. I couldn't transfer because I they I would have already traded in my 3DS. Yep. So yeah, like, that is one thing Sony does give you with the, the Vita, doesn't it? Is it's keyed to your PS3 instead? Well, Sony, all your purchases are still tied to your PSN account, so yeah. you can re-download them. But if you don't, if you didn't deactivate your previous console, you may run out of consoles. Which wow. then, then the solution there is easy, which I actually had to do recently is you just go on to your account management online and say, wipe all of my devices. Yep. And then you just have to reauthorize that's any new. devices that's you new, have. because they never had that before. Yeah. It that's... Was that before it was you bought stuff and your console broke. Well, too bad. No, no, they, they have it now. It's all, on, it's all on your PSN account, so... Well, that's good. It's, and it's the way it should be, people. Yeah, they, they limit you to like five devices or something, and if you run out, you either have to go to a device and delete it, or you just have to go and do a mass delete, and then re-off whatever consoles you have. Just like an iPod. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, a little better than an iPod, but we'll give it that, because at least... <laughs> iTunes, because you don't have to deal with iTunes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like iTunes, but it's a resource hog. Always will be. I had it because I was had to install and manage my podcast, but then I just got sick of it. And why does I can't see down there? <laughs> I'm beginning to question the wisdom of picking this game next. <laughs> uh, th <laughs> this has not aged well. That's not. Nice. It may it may have been a revolutionary. <laughs> it, it may have been revolutionary at the time, uh. but not so much. It is. The, Don the Donkey Kong Country port on the Game Boy Color at oh, least Google. plays halfway decent. Now what are they doing? They don't like your typing? A lot of interruptions tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, everything's going so slow. Oh, I actually made it. And got two extra lives for it. Okay, let's keep going. Great. X marks the spot, I guess. Yep. The star poppy. Okay. 
Now I am going to snapshot it this time because apparently we can't trust the autosave. Apparently not. Oh yeah, now back here. Oh, oops. It's also really weird when you jump on an enemy, you get skyrocketed. What did I land on? Oh, cloud crap. It's like you, you jump on an enemy and you get launched six feet into the air. And we just lost Victor. He'll be back. No, oh, okay. Forgot you have to jump low. Oh man, that is really disorienting. Because the camera can't keep up when you get launched that far off screen. Bit, it looked like Twitch went out, uh -huh. and then it came back. But when I realized the laptop was running and my computer wasn't, uh, I realized I got disconnected as well. Oh. Oh. Man, how are you supposed to make that jump? That stupid zinger. I think I got really laggy for me all of a sudden. Really? Yeah. I think it does that yeah. randomly. Yeah, for some reason right now, like, it shows your face instead of, uh... the screen. <laughs> Ow! Come on, down, down, Oh, yeah, down. spawns you right in front of him. Down. Of course. No, not the snakes. Okay. Oh, DK girl. Good. These levels are surprisingly long. Oh, I... T <laughs> I totally did not see that. <laughs> well, because it wasn't there until you died. <laughs> oh. oh. And there he goes again. <laughs> yeah. He's in hangout hell. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I've been there. Still better than Skype, though. Yep. Still way better than Skype. Skype Absolutely. is still... a menace. Skype is a menace to the podcasting network. Well, I noticed that uh, today on uh, This Week in Google, uh, Jeff Jarvis was using the hang uh, Google Talk. Yeah. Oh, instead, instead of Skype. Instead of Skype. And it worked much better. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked great. Like the video was really good. Yeah, the Google Talk isn't half bad. Whoa! I'd... Wait a second. You respawn? Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's the way the tiles have to be drawn, so suddenly it's there when it wasn't before. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Load that save game. Or snapshot. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a thing. Yep. Maybe I should have picked the other path. The only start you have with three lives? That kind of seems like not much. Pick up the arrow. Ow! Wow, I just... 
So should have had that claptrap. I know this. It's funny, uh, every time I hear the word clap, claptrap, I think I'm playing Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they had it first. The Donkey Kong had it first. I know, I know. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Gearbox totally stole claptrap. Do they even spell it the same, or do they spell it differently? Uh, is it with a C or K? I, I'm pretty sure on Donkey Kong it's with a K because yeah, you know, it's a C on Borderlands. So technically, I, I have to check to make sure, but pretty much everything else in Donkey Kong is K for you know Kremlins and Kong and Kong and it, it, every everything is K. It's kind of like Mortal Kombat. Everything yep. is K. Yeah, it's one of those uh, Asian things. Could he be back? There we go. Yay! He unmutes himself. Yay. Quick reboot. Uh... Oh, why? For the connection, anyway. Ah. I find sometimes if the hangout gets a little funky, oh. the, you have to get rid of the, uh... the plug-in. Oh, yeah. restart the Google Talk plug-in? Yeah. It's not as bad as Flash, but hey, it's still going <laughs> to happen every once in a while. Seriously, sometimes I think the hit detection on these enemies is completely random. So it's like Black Ops. Yeah. <laughs> so this was Black Ops before Black Ops was Black Ops. Right. Or what was that? There, there was that video about it was like a Ghost Recon game, I think, or something where they were showing off the collision detection where they would be shooting a guy in the face and it wouldn't register until like after the fifth shot. Are you sure that was a ghost recon? It, it, what, it was something. I don't think it was like a Black Ops um, Call of Duty game. It was one it of the other... Warfare. I remember a video like that for that. Oh. That's... I don't remember, but... <laughs> it... <laughs> Yeah, no, vo no voice clips in this, sadly. Uh, what? I was on the Ooh. other one. <clears throat> He'd barely touched my finger. Apparently the game didn't think so. And the hitboxes are really weird. Oh, this one. So if I go down and... Yeah, man, the read, the draw distance or whatever, and this is weird. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe if I say at the top, they'll stop respawning. Peaky barrel, yay. Oh, that's right. Ooh, secret. Okay, there are, are stalactite platforms floating around in the jungle. Okay. You know what that sounds like? I just remembered. Mm. What? That sound is just like when you use the star punch and punch out. Oh, yeah, kinda. Oh, man. How are you supposed to get across that? Oh, crap. Uh, okay, got it. But yeah, so it's it's slightly off, but it's basically that same sound. Yeah, just a little different pitch. No! Oh. <laughs> he caught the end while he died. And there's DK barrel. Seems to be fairly generous with the DK barrels. Ooh. No, not up top. Spawns you in the weirdest places. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. Another DK barrel. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, and then there's a zinger up there. I get that. Secret rope. More banana coins. I have no idea what these things are. I, I completely forgot what their purpose was. Okay, seriously, what is going on with this? I think you have to do a jump jump. What? <laughs> <laughs> I totally grabbed the rope. The rope was right. I didn't think so. The rope was right there and it went further down than no the screen. Rope for you. <laughs> so Dude, just, you just game be... over screen. It's like you guys got the crap beat out of you. <laughs> so seriously, just because Donkey Kong fell out of frame, even though there was a rope right there. And you were obviously headed towards it? Yeah. It counted yeah. that as a death. To me, it's just like in Battlefield 2, 3, 1, whatever, where you'd fall like three feet and you would die. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> I, I, I can... Well, why, why do I have fond memories of this game? <laughs> We could have a monkey madness rage quit. Because you forgot all about <laughs> yeah. the annoying I... problem. And the fact is that you were stuck in the back seat of a car playing this thing. <laughs> what else were you going to do? That was the only Here's game. The thing. I I'd like to think we all had more patience as a kid. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. I think like... especially back then because this is what video games were. Exactly. This was all we had. You know, we had our 8-bit, 16-bit video games, you know, with the bad graphics and the crappy collision detection, and that's what we had and we liked it. Get you off my lawn. You go lot. home, you go to the local video store, and you rent the game, and that's your whole weekend. You didn't have anything else to do. No. You had, you had the game, and if it was a crappy game, well, then you were just going to play it over the weekend, because that was the only game you had. And maybe, maybe one, once a month or something, you'd go to a Funko Land, maybe buy a game, or just play all the ones they had running there because you couldn't afford one. Ah, oh, Funko Land. And if you bought a crappy game, then you were stuck with it. And yeah, then, that was the worst. You, you just had to play it until you somehow mastered its glitches and... Like, jam it. Crap, crappy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> on, a, on, a different note, on a different note here, it was like when... With my son, who wanted a Game Boy, and, and got one eventually. You know, we would buy him a game for Christmas. You know, not knowing what kind of game he likes, he's you know not sure. It's a new system. Yeah. You would buy him a turd. <laughs> yeah. I had the a only way to describe it. I had a few of those. I go, yeah. man. You want that Superman game? You want Superman '64? <laughs> Here you oh, go. Yeah. Or, or he yeah, loves Superman. Crap. I hated that game so much. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we we played that on. What was it with Tom there? Yeah, we played that with Shaq Fu. Um, so I think much we paid for those games. Oh. The fact that they the waste of plastic. Yeah. Yes. So much hate. Apparently, Superman 64 was originally intended to be an open world game. Well, if if they wanted to make a game that sucked, well, they succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of games out there that. They, what they started with and what they ended up with are two different things because yeah. Alien it got to the point Marines. of development hell, you know, and uh, they said, well, we're putting it out. This is what we're putting out with what we got. Duke Nukem Forever, Aliens, Colonial Marines. Mm. They're a completely different one. They should have been scrapped to start with. They just <laughs> left to die, but... They're still using the E3 footage for Aliens Colonial Marines in the trailers. Wasn't that all canned? Yeah, the, the stuff they showed at E3, that, that the various E3s and the, and the um, early previews, none of that's in the game. 
Or at least it's been significantly hacked to pieces. But they keep showing it. Because... You know, it looks cool. Oh, wait, what is it doing? You fell off screen. Okay, so I just have to keep up here. I had to stay above above the rope, at the top of the rope, so they would stop respawning. Is that a tire? Yes, it is. Whoa! That... Yay, two me's. <laughs> wow. Where, where am I? I don't know what's going on there, but it's kind of awesome. <laughs> Another are checkpoint. You able, are you able to clone yourself? Man, these levels are long. Ah, uh, no. Long with crap hit detection. Oh, boy. Okay, I have to climb all the way up there. No. Jump. Third, third Jump. one's got the B on it, so watch it. Okay. Zinger. No, not more snakes. Snake? Snakes Why on a rope. Be snakes. <laughs> snakes on a rope. Worst kind of snake. I've had enough of these oh, snakes. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least I have a different checkpoint this time. I'm also on my last life. So, you know, there's that. This is looking like it's going to be Donkey Rage Quit Land, folks. <laughs> Probably. I, yeah, I'm <laughs> not sure if I can go on much longer with this. It was a nice look, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Revolutionary of the t at the time. Age has age has not been kind. Oh, look, end of the level. Yeah, end of level. But there was... Why didn't it save? Because it doesn't like you. Wait, so how... I guess. Do you have to collect all the... Wait a second. Do you have to collect all the Kong letters for it to save? That's kind of dumb. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that's, dumb. that's dumb. Because... That pirate ship level over toward the front that I did before that has the big pointy thing on it? Yeah. That means I collect all the Kong letters. And I remember it asking me to save. But my previous game over, I didn't collect all the Kong letters, and it didn't save. That is really stupid. Okay, hold on. I, I need confirmation <laughs> for this. That's retarded. I, you seriously have to collect all the Kong letters? That... Who thought of that? Wow! Yep, just got the confirmation. That is dumb. In Donkey Kong Land, the Kong letters do not grant extra lives and are instead used to save the game. Wow! That is the stupidest thing in the history of Donkey Kong. You have... To... <laughs> the collectibles are your save game. So what you're telling me is this is the OCD edition? <laughs> 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 it certainly seems so. <laughs> My goodness. If the player that... finishes a level with a full set of Kong letters, the game will be saved. In one level in this game, this has an even stranger use for the Kong letters. The player collects the four letters in rapid succession before jumping on an industrial fan. This blows the letters across the level where they can be used as platforms. This is repeated for three sets of Kong letters. Only the fourth and final set can be used for saving the game. Oh, I remember that level. Well, I guess, we're, I guess we're done with this game. Yeah, is it frozen? No, I just, I was just shocked. I, I was frozen in disbelief. Well, I can definitely see why I didn't play this more than once. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. I go on. That's weird. You know, I've seen a lot of different save game strategies. <laughs> you know, crystals, checkpoints, typewriters. You know. Yeah, all kinds of funky stuff. Normal things. But that forcing you to oh that was dumb. <laughs> For... you hit all the letters, you should save. 
<laughs> yeah, does collecting the last G, does it save you at that specific spot in the game? So, <laughs> so if you happen to collect the G just as you are falling to your death, you'll just keep respawning? <laughs> falling to your death. I think we should play a different game. You know what? The game over screen makes much more sense now. It's like, oh my god. I have to do this all over again. I got beat up to try to collect the cog letters. I know. Your game is over. Stop playing this game and play something else. So, in, the, in this game, the save feature is not a courtesy, it is a reward for you have to earn the right to save the game. Completing I'm bonus stuff. The, completing the level isn't enough. No, no. You even completing multiple levels to get to a candy save barrel, and that's not enough either. No, you have to collect all of these miscellaneous collectibles strewn throughout the level, possibly Which are hard to get in some cases. Yeah, some of them off of the linear path, some of them hidden within bonus levels, that little secret rooms. I'm telling you, this is the OCD edition. <laughs> I cannot believe that. This is completely... Oh, wow. That wasn't me, by the way. Donkey Crap Land. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed to that. Take it out back. <laughs> put a couple into it. Yep. And there you have it, folks. Your one and only look at Donkey Crap Land. No, your last look. <laughs> You'll never see it again. Never again on this channel. If you happen to pick it up, put it down. Walk away. Just walk away. Do not be enticed by it. Don't, 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 don't pay attention to the fancy yellow cartridge. You know, it, it's. Just trying to trick you. Mm -hmm. That's how they get you, man. It's is, like, is, oh my is, god, is the that cartridge yellow, is yellow. Is, is that hypnotic yellow cartridge? Pretty much. It, it, just, it stands out. It's a different color. I want it. <laughs> That's what it works for Pokemon. Yeah, it, Damn it right. <laughs> Definitely worked for Zelda. Uh, oh yeah, the cartridge has to be gold. Mm-hmm. The, the cartridge and the, and the system. The Game Boy ones weren't gold, though, I don't think. Well, I'll no. Well, I mean, there's a whole set of collectors. I didn't even realize this until Tom was digging some stuff up. Yeah. That collect cartridges based on color. Oh yeah. Because certain Absolutely. colors are rarer than others. Same freaking cartridge, but it's just the plastic is different. Yeah, man. The gold plastic makes all the difference. The oh, black sometimes. label for the PS1 makes all the difference. Sometimes it's the gray. Because it originally came black and the replacements were gray. Exactly. Okay, this is awesome music. I have not seen this game before. I, I am just going to sit here and listen to this. <laughs> Are we skipping ahead now? Is that what we're doing? I can't play any more of the Donkey Kong Land. <laughs> that, that, is, that is just too much. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. So this is an advanced game? Super Nintendo. Oh, yes, yes. This is Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy Kong's Quest. Really? <clears throat> I don't think I played 2. See, what's I really interesting... I played 3 and the first one. At the Remember at the end of Donkey Kong Country, you defeated King K. Rool at, on Gangplank Galleon? Mm -hmm. Here, you start on Gangplank Galleon. That is the first level. That's interesting. Pirate Panic. Yarg! Oh, this feels so much better. Arr, Diddy, have you ever been to sea? Oh man, I can jump. I can oh, roll. Can I There's rats. <laughs> oh, and they, and they splash in the water when you kill them. <laughs> that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Such a great game. Let's go in here. Extra life. I have kidnapped that lumbering fool Donkey Kong and you will never see him again. Har har har. Captain K. Rule now. 
So we apparently dethroned him, so he's no longer a king, but he's apparently still a captain and still able to kidnap Donkey Kong. You bastard! Yeah, so I'm not you quite sure. Kenny, you bastard! <laughs> I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what the point uh, was in the first game. I'm not sure what we accomplished. Absolutely nothing. Oh, and the throw. Croc, croc. I love how they fall into the water. <laughs> Oh, hello. Swanky swing. Now the bonus levels have time limits. And now there's even more collectibles. Yay! Yay, collecting things. Ow! Kremlin tokens. Kremlin tokens. Whoa. Go, bye. <laughs> I like that noise. <laughs> 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 Sounds like he's hiccuping. <laughs> this rhino has the hiccups. Hey, oh. it doesn't sound like he's about to die. Yeah, that, that is an improvement. Oh. Oops, wrong button. The... He has a special move now. Yes, he does. Charge! Rhino, use tackle attack. <laughs> Destroy oh, choo -choo, them all. Rhino. <laughs> that, that's kind of that was kind of disturbing. D Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong were literally trying to pull that crumbling apart. Rhyhorn uses tackle. I wonder, can I go back in there? I'm curious if it lets me if I, if I can redo can. bonus levels. There's no point. Yep. You can. So look at that, they're, they're literally, literally trying to tear his limbs off. Brutal. <laughs> well, you know, Nintendo's got this thing about guns and violence, right? Yeah, I mean, that has to be kid-friendly. Yeah, you could farm that for some time, eh? You don't really no, get anything. It has a checkpoint on it, so you can't uh, do it again. Yeah, you, at ah. least that particular bonus level, if it was like a different one where there was like bananas or different collectibles, you could, but that one, there's no point. But at least you can redo it, so if you fail. Oh, no Rhino Zone. Two lives, though, that's nice. Oh, yeah, and I love the end level on this. Oh, yes. That pole is dancing? A, that <laughs> <laughs> pole dancing with an electric guitar. Yeah, put a banana candy in your thong. <laughs> that, that's Candy's victory. Yeah, that that's if, if there was a ROM hack for Candy Kong. <laughs> that would be it. That's the next Wii game, people. Candy Kong's pole dancer. <laughs> Exclusive to Japan. <laughs> For sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, and the pony hair, the ponytail twirl. Best move ever. Damn right. <laughs> it makes up for how much I suck. Actually, I'll take that back. It doesn't. Well, it does make platforming that much easier. That is true. She, she's not quite as good as the... She, she can't do the roll jump. But the ponytail twirl definitely makes up for it. This is my favorite one. Yeah, it's it's definitely up there. I, I the first Donkey Kong Country kind of has me for nostalgia value because I've played it so much. Um, but yeah. between but as far as the best Donkey Kong Country game, oops. It, it would have to be between this one and three. The three based purely on the creative level design. Because there, there was a lot of creative ideas and level mechanics that they used. That were often only used for a single level. 
Okay, I should probably collect those banana tokens because they actually come in handy later. So, okay, so this one, they introduced banana tokens, creme coins, DK tokens, and I think that's it. Along with the standard Kong letter, um, bonus areas. So this added special bonus areas. You would find these abandoned um, cannons that were actually bonus areas, but in order to get, in order to access them, you had to find a cannonball, carry it to the cannon, and then it would blast you off to the bonus area. Like there's one right up there. Except I want that. Oh, what were you doing down there? I'm gonna take that in. Get Diddy, then take the... That is one freaking strong ponytail. You can carry a cannonball with it. Damn straight. So you just drop the cannonball into the barrel, into the cannon, and off we go. Pulling legs off crocodile again. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. Also nice you can reuse the cannonball. Ah, one more. No! There we go. I think I think this one also has a bonus world that can only be accessed if you have enough of those creme coins, if I'm not mistaken. I'm I think they may have done the same thing with Donkey Kong Country, though I don't three, though I don't remember if that was a Game Boy Advance exclusive or not. Oh, we gotta do this. And oh, dang it. Try that again. I want the extra life. Ah, I didn't want the bananas. I always love that. Monkey meat. Oh, yeah. I like Diddy's better. Diddy's is pretty cool. Cranky's got two canes now. I am back by popular demand to offer you wisdom. Just because Don De Donkey Kong Country sold a few lousy copies, I have to be included in another ludicrous adventure. It's the last time, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he, he, he offers you hints, but now you have to pay for them. That's pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah, he gives you a couple for free sometimes, but otherwise you have to pay for his hints. Um, Look, Cranky Kong is on a fixed income. He needs help. <laughs> yeah, that, that extra cane cost him a fortune. Yeah, he, he needs some extra money. Times are tough, you know? Find the token. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> First one. What? I have to pre-order Remember Me. Why? What is that? If you uh, pre-order it from Best Buy, Amazon, or Steam, you'll be granted the use of three iconic Street Fighter moves to hurt people with. No way. The what? three moves are Guile's Flash Kick, Chun-Li Spinning Bird Kick, and the Dragon Punch. Oh. <laughs> Mad Mad Chun -Li. <laughs> Trying to catch in on awesome. some nostalgia there. Oh yes. Go Capcom go. Uh, the next question next is, question. how long will it's it take for those to become game. paid DLC? Ha. Or I should say on disc DLC. Indeed. Hey, oh. you can actually see them in this trailer. I'm not gonna watch it now though. Yeah, oh look, the sun's actually setting. I will post it though. Oh, these guys. <laughs> the, those crushes are back. 
and obviously neither Diddy nor Dixie can defeat him by just jumping on him. But now they also have an added feature. If you jump on them once, they go Hulk smash and become invincible, and if you touch them, you die. Was there anything down that I don't remember? Oh yeah, Diddy Kong hangs from the hook by his tail, and Dixie Kong hangs by her ponytail. Oh, invincibility, that's right. <clears throat> no, I need to get up here. No. Ha! Almost forgot this has invincibility barrels. So they don't use them very often. That is total game show music. Never get tired of hearing it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, you know what? Oops. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just kick him out of the way. Okay, we're gonna do Diddy this time. Uh, <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> Flip the cap around backwards, you know, put some shades on. That's right. There, there, there totally needs to be a GIF of deal with it <laughs> with Diddy Kong. I'm pretty sure there's a... I there has to be. Right there. They see me rolling. <laughs> hey, do you still have the, the wave file for that? What happened? Do you still have the wave file for that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Kong... Oh! So I remember you drilled that in my head with a few things you made for it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Cranky Kong's wife is in here now. Uh oh. Hi, Mrs. Wrinkly Kong. And now we know why he's cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he's married. Oh, yeah. Um, in Donkey Kong Country 2, when Crinkly Kong is where you save your game, so it's kind of like Candy's save barrel, um, except she'll only let you save once for free. After that, you have to pay. And if you don't have the money, you ain't saving. Man, she's cheap. Hey, at least you don't have to collect Kong letters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that that's a little better. It's a slight improvement, but I, I still... See, now that's gonna cost me two coins if I want to save my game. Well, I guess if you have enough coins, I guess it really shouldn't matter. Which, I mean, as you get further into the game, the... They do kind of dish out those banana coins pretty regularly, so yeah, unless you're like, really a problem. Un unless you're like buying lots of hints or stuff for the secret areas, having right. enough, co having enough banana coins really isn't a problem. Right. Octa's luck. Oh yeah, I thought this was um, so awesome. When when I was completely blown away, when you had water levels interspersed through land. You know, I, I would just use a Donkey Kong Country where a water level was a water level and that's all it was. But now you can jump out of the water. The also, water level goes up too. Yeah. And then there's these giant amoebas. <laughs> I think it's a manta ray. No! There's supposed there's a secret there. There's a Oh, now piranhas chase you. Hey. Oh yeah, well where's on guard? I, I need on guard. Oh. On guard's supposed to be here somewhere. There he is. What the What the chop? 
Okay, where is it? There it is. Okay, so then he also has a charge move. <clears throat> that must be one strong nose. Um, Here's your sword fish. Um, where? Uh, this is a maze. I don't remember where to go. Ah, there it is. I love how Diddy Kong just kind of walk. Was just sort of. Yeah, Diddy Kong actually can walk on the ground while underwater. How do you. Okay, that's the button. We're gonna go up. Wait for the water level. No! No! On guard's been beached. Oh, there's. Ah, I missed the O. Where was the O? Oh, starfish. Oh, another on guard. Oh wait, there's something down here. Maybe. It's always really hard to tell where the bonus areas are because like in the first one it's just sort of randomly invisible walls. Hmm. Come on, come on, no, no, no. Ah, oh, I missed the DK coin. <laughs> uh, the victory dance is so awesome. Swanky's bonus bonanza. We gotta see what this is. Give them a big hand, folks. Good evening. I'm Swanky Kong, and you're tonight's contestants on my bonanza. It's easy to play. Just pick a game, and you're away. Swanky Swag, Pirate Puzzler. Oh, this is the quiz show. What is my name? <laughs> <laughs> um, Swanky, Wonky, or Stinky? <laughs> stinky. Uh, no, I'm thinking Stinky. Uh... <laughs> well, he said his name was Swanky, so... I mean, I'm gonna have to go with Swanky. Here we go again. What is the first enemy that you see in the game? An ugly earthworm. <laughs> a furry rat. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a furry rat. Alright, on to the next round. What is the name of this area of the island? Gang Gangway Garbage. Ganglang... <laughs> Gangland Galleon, Gangplank Galleon, Gang Gangway Garbage. Well play. Here, you deserve this. Extra life. Game complete. Now I have to pay if I want to play the other ones. I'll leave studio. He's very weird. Okay, how long have we been going? Oh, um, 10 15 here. Yeah. Hour yep. 15. Yep. Then I guess we'll have to end it before I finish the boss. So I still have one more level before the boss. Oh, well, I mean, might as well finish out the level while you're on it. Alright, well, if nobody has to be anywhere. I have tomorrow off, so I can save. Oh, this guy! This guy's awesome! Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. A jumping snake. He even looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> A jumping snake with buck teeth. <laughs> and his power up ability. Is a super jump. Okay, get up here. 
I love the enemy designs of this game. <laughs> they're, they're all the pirate themed guys. It's like half of them have peg legs, some of them have spring legs. It's like they they all almost all of them have to have an eye patch. Yeah. We have dragonflies, because why not? Oh, shut up! <laughs> oh, yeah. Stupid ads. You love ads. I keep seeing that um, HTC First with Facebook Home ad. That is annoying the crap out of me. <laughs> Where, what's that on? I keep seeing it on Twitch and sometimes YouTube. Well, there was a post on Google Plus that there one guy was saying that YouTube actually has three minute ads now. Really? Oh, wow. Three minute ads? Yeah. That is ridiculous. Then again, you do get the option to skip them after like a certain amount of time. Five seconds. Or if you have ads, you of them. not see them at all. Some of them let you skip. I have run into others where you can't skip. Yeah. That's true, too. I think they're experimenting. I think they're assholes. <laughs> yeah, there's well, that. I mean, I mean, it is there's YouTube. That, yes. <laughs> uh, we, we only use YouTube because you have to. Yeah. This is true. Well, there are not much left. Nope. I mean, you could well, use... I use Adblock, and uh, I don't see as much of that crap. I mean, I mean, you could use, like, Vimeo and other stuff, but... Who's gonna see your stuff? I know, and it's such a pain. Because Vimeo really limits your uploads per month. So if you're producing a lot of content, you have to pretty much pay for, like, a pro version or something. Plus, I don't, I don't know if Vimeo uses, has any sort of HTML5 viewer like YouTube does. Ah! Extra like. Yeah, I joined the beta for that on YouTube, and I had to, uh, I had to do something with Firefox to get it to uh, properly play them. Yeah, it's a little iffy. Yeah, there's some, some uh, <laughs> about config that you have to turn on. Because it was kind of hit and miss whether they worked or not. Funkies. Ah, Funkies Flights 2. Oh, yeah, I remember him from the cartoon series. And now he's on a flying surfboard. He yeah, totally man. has the flying skateboard from Back to the Future. Two more years. <laughs> Higher plane. Man, everybody's gotten cheap. Higher plane, two coins. Everything was free in Donkey Kong Country. What happened to you guys? There's nickel and diamond me for everything. Oh yeah, I love when they do that. When, when you first see the boss, they all go bug-eyed. Pick up eggs, throw at crow. Naturally, the first boss has to be a mini necky. That's grown gigantic. Hey, Victor, I put a link in for you. Oh, yeah? What, what the hell happened to the... What the... There we go. Ha! Ah! Awesome. Die, mini necky. Curious as to why he left the tag on, but it's pretty cool. And world one complete. 